Hi guys, welcome to my channel and I'm Darlington Osinachi. Today I will be taking you on the Radwin R Planner. Okay, this is a special request from one of our subscribers and I have promised to do so. So without wasting any further time, we'll just go straight down to the nitty gritty. Okay, already my Radwin Planner is open and I believe before you ask, you will be familiar with it. So, Clicking on the drop down menu, um, going to new plan. So the project name, let's say we use R Planner Learn for the purpose of this video. Operator, there is no operator. City. Lagos, country, whichever country you are, but I am in Nigeria. I'll be working on the hour planner with the 5.8 frequency, and uh, I will be picking the default height of, let's say, 35 meters. I'm not going to be using any GSU on site, so I will just leave it at the HSS, which is the default. Description simply put is you describing the link, perhaps a point to point, point to multi points. Since, um, yeah. Okay. Because in this video, I'll be um, planning both the point to point and the point to multi point videos. Okay, so we click the next. Um, the brand is obviously Radwin. Um, you can go ahead and create your catalog, but for me, I already have a catalog. So we wait for the catalog to load since I just selected a new catalog. Okay, so from my catalog, which is my personal catalog Darlington store, which has been created before now. So for the point to multi-point band, um, I will be picking the 5.8 universal, while for the point to points, I will be picking the 5.1 universal. This is um, so as to avoid um, self base station interference. So the point to point doesn't interfere with the point to multi point. Remember, I am not adding a GSU to the site. Okay. Um, you can always include bands which require license keys. So we'll the default HBS antenna is always integrated. Remember, the HBS is a 22 dBi integrated antenna. Um, the HSU um, for the point to point will be the Radwin 2000 Alpha, the embedded 50 Mbps. Default H HSU antenna embedded. I will likely pick. Um, the 20, 28 dbi dish as i would also be adding a long distance link to this plan uh, my default channel bandwidth i will be working with the 20 megahertz okay that is that for now and you go next so so um, here you will require to set your uplink downlink throughput. Um, okay, I will use three Mbps for both uplink downlink. Okay, availability. You have a, a various range of availability to choose from the drop down menu. Um, I would advise you go for the ninety nine point nine. Click finish. Project generation in progress. Uh, 
make sure you have good internet connection. So great. Okay, so now that we have a project and we are good to go, then you go ahead and add your site. Um, you should have a site name. Or alternatively, you could just um, look around the locality where you want and you right click and add entry, then you add a site. So, okay, this is a site name for the purpose of the class. I will use this as Planner B, Planner B SU. customer okay there is no hsc on site so we'll just click okay i want to assume this is the base station so i will go ahead and add another entry here and i will pick this as my Planner A. This should be our base station. Okay. So once you have selected an entry, automatically you will get the coordinate, the latitude and the longitude of the site. And whereby you already conducted, conducted a TSS on site and you have derived the coordinates of the location, you just go ahead and you use the menu by your left and you put the name, you put the latitude and the longitude and the desired height and you click add and once you've done that it automatically pops up on the map okay so now i have a i have two sides okay and i will first i am going to do the point to point so that you can see so i will right click i'm going to click now to link this two sides you use the control control and you drag your mouse remember to use the control button drag your mouse from one point that is the base station to the su and you click now once you click look at these points you will see create point to point link now, it creates point-to-point -point link is highlighted because I have not indicated this to be a base station yet. I have not added a Jet Pro. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead to create the point-to-point -point link. Good. Remember, from the beginning, I already indicated I want 3 Mbps throughput for this. And for the point to point, earlier on I selected the 5.1 gigahertz universal. And that is what we are going to be planning it with. Next. <coughs> Good. Okay, so here I have multiple options to pick the point to point radio that I desire to use. And I intend using the Radwin 2000 Alpha integrated, which we used in our previous video, which we configured in our previous video. Okay, so all the details you need for this particular link is actually highlighted here. 
Here you have the total distance, which is 1.773 kilometers. Your availability for this link is 100%, so you're good to go. Your link service on both A and B is guaranteed 50 Mbps. Your latency is 3 milliseconds. This is great. Okay, now you can see all basic configurations that are to be implemented on site. You'll be using the 24 volts PoE AC and that also offers the gigabit capacity. Okay, um, here the antenna height is 35 on both ends. Azimuth, well derived 2761, elevation is zero. You don't need uh, any HSS now. Your license capacity for this radio is 50 Mbps, except you need to upgrade it. Now, this is your RSL value. This is what you should get in the absence of heavy interference after planning. Okay, there is a disclaimer notice on this. It doesn't really mean that this is exactly what you get. But always make sure that after installations and after planning and implementations that you get 50 Mbps irrespective of having 40, minus 49.8 dBm. Okay. So we also, here you can get information on the channel bandwidth, which is 20 megahertz channel. Okay. Um, you can choose the frequency from the range of the band that you want. Uh, we go ahead and pick the 5260. It's um, on license frequency, but I can use it in my locality. Okay, the polarization is dual, RF is E. That is the only option I have there. Your minimum fade margin is 6. Um, Radwin is a 2x2 MIMO schematic, and I don't intend going to use the diversity since I intend to have a full operational capacity on this radio okay so now take note of this green indicator here if this link was not good or perfect i am going to be having a red indicator meaning that i don't have a link you might actually have good rsl value here but the link will be very bad here okay and also, please take note that my antenna is integrated. So where I have issues with establishing a link here, I will probably verify if I'm using the right antennas. Am I pointing the right products to each other? Am I using the right TX power? Is it on the right height? Okay. So once this is verified and all informations are good, just click close. Good. Now, on the map, you see I have various informations, various informations um, just hover your mouse on both blue icons. These blue icons indicate the two sites. This is um, the first equipment with full details of the location and the coordinates. And you can see that it's currently on the 5260 and RSL is 50. Good job, good job, good job. Right, so since we are done with the point to point link, so we'll move straight up to the point to multi-point link, okay? Now I have, I'm going to be using this as my base station, while this will be the subscriber unit, okay? First of all, I am going to add a base station to this location. Base station 1, no SUZ, 5.8 gigahertz, okay? And, well, I'll be picking any random frequency on this band sorry i prefer using all caps link learn 
okay um, available for search i will be using the radwin su pro okay also do know that you can um, convert the alpha to serve as the su on a point to multi point link So I'll be picking the azimuth so as to point towards where I have the customers. Okay, apply. Okay, I'll be using the color blue. I'm using the embedded. Um, I don't intend using any antenna yet. So that is why you're seeing the antenna sensitivity gain, HSU antenna gain to be 15. That is 15 dBi. The distance is 1.7 kilometers and she walk. Okay, so now that I have a base station and I can see my coverage area clearly, okay, I will go ahead and connect the SU to the base station. So you click, press the control button and drag. Now when you get to the base station, you click once. Okay, now I have the options of creating a point-to-point -point link or a point to multi point link. So go ahead and click on create point to multi point link. And OK. Good. So go ahead and click next. In order for you to have um, this status change to green you have to allocate resources remember you have indicated that you want to you want the uplink and downlink to be 3 mbps so you have to always be sure that you are using the right product Okay, so we'll go ahead and allocate resources. We'll be allocating our assured throughput. I should be able to do 25 Mbps on this uplink and downlink. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. Okay, great. So now that I have allocated my resources, okay, now you see that the status is green. This simply means that we are good to go. I would like to go back to link requirements. Okay, now in the case that I have, I, I require so much resources before I can get a green light then you could also try and use uh, a connector, right? maybe the turbo gain, so as to have more gain and not use up all your resources due to distance.
Okay, remember it's a point to multi point. So you have to be very stingy with allocating resources. You don't want to allocate all the resources to only one customer. Okay, so I have given that 8%. Now, I, that is why I had to use the embedded so that when I see that, okay, at the coverage distance that is required, I, I can't get my allocated resource. So I can quickly pick any antenna. And when I see that the distance oh, is too long, it, the, the longer the, the distance, the more antenna gain I add so as to, I can be able to manage my resources and also have more customers on the base station. Okay, now this is a good one. I'm having an RSSL of minus 58.5. Very good RSL, very good RSL, no interference. Okay. Nice. Okay, so I will quickly go ahead and add the other customer, remember? You click on it, take your hands off the mouse, then press your control key on your keyboard and drag, drag the yellow line all the way down to the HBS and click once and take your hands off. Okay. This part is going to be very tricky for you guys, so make sure you You're not left behind. Good. Okay, so like I indicated, mind you, you can also choose any amount of throughput you want. It is flexible to the ratio of the capacity of the particular product that you are using. Okay, so now we have to allocate the resources again. For clarity's sake, I'm going to be very slow this time. Okay, make sure you observe the red indicator while I am allocating my resources. Okay. So you see that we are having the same challenge considering that I'm using the 16 dBi antenna and yet even with allocation of 10.5% resource and yet I cannot have an assured throughput. So go ahead and use the turbo gain. Okay. Um, Distance is quite short, short, so we should have we should have good results right now. So keep assigning the um, resources until you have a good result. Good. Okay. Pay attention to the assured throughput. You see? So I have here, okay. here I have for the downlink 13% resource allocated. 
And for the uplink, I have 12.5 descent resource allocated. And this means that I have assured throughput of, of 5 Mbps uplink downlink. Okay, so once you have verified that you're using the right product and antenna and you verify your azimuth, your height, and you have a good RSS of value, then you can go ahead and close. Okay, now on the screen, you will see that we have two solid links coming from one base station. So basically, this is how you create your point to multi point um, links on the Radwin planner. Then you can always remember to save. Okay, save. Once you click save, you have your pop up and you can save it to whichever folder you want. Okay, so I'm going to be ending this class here now. So for any questions, feel free to comment below and please remember to subscribe and like and also please do share and we would always respond positively to you guys. Cheers.